subject, and, and I kind of agree with a lot of artists who say that the subject picks the artist. The artist yeah, does the first thing in the methodology is what do I want to communicate with the painting? What's the idea? Then the colors. The colors, obviously, uh, in the Caribbean are one of the paramount things. How do you approach a painting? Looking at a blank canvas, um, how do you, what's the thought process behind it? How I approach a painting? Well, there's, there's three elements to uh, the way I approach a painting. The first element is the environment. And in, in an environment like this in St. Thomas is uh, really inspiring. Uh, you, you can't be here and not be inspired. So the, some of the things, you know, I might be on the beach, I may be seeing the turquoise water, I'm smelling the aroma of the flowers, I'm hearing the birds in the background. All of these things contribute to the mood of the painting. So the environment the is... The second thing I look for is the subject. Uh, the subject, and, and I kind of agree with a lot of artists who say that the subject picks the artist, the artist doesn't pick the subject. There's just certain times that a certain scene has some kind of attraction or gravity that pulls the artist there and you just have to paint that particular scene. It could be the, the beach, it could be a, an old building, so that the subject really is something that kind of jumps the last out. element is, is really the methodology. And the first thing in the methodology is what do I want to communicate with the painting? What's the idea behind it? Do I want to evoke some type of feeling, emotion? Do I want to create an escape for somebody into that painting. Um, and then what is the composition? Uh, how do I want to compose that painting? Where's the focal point? Do I want to have several focal points or do I want to draw somebody in through a path into the painting? Uh, the values as far as the dark or lights of the painting, I like to stay within the mid-range uh, of the values so it's not too dark or not too light because I think it makes for an in, a more interesting painting if there's not too much of a... Uh, and then the colors. The colors obviously uh, in the Caribbean are one of the paramount things. Uh, all of the blues and there's a lot of ochre and gold. Right? Yeah, paint a also. painting. I usually go from the sky to the mid-ground to the foreground. So that's how I build the painting. I start way in the distance and then come forward in my painting. And then lastly is, is really to have fun doing it. And I'm really transported to another place uh, when I'm painting. It's, it's very much like uh, when I'm surfing or boogie boarding. When I'm out in the ocean, the only thing I'm thinking about is the next wave. Well, the same thing happens in painting. You kind of lose track of time and you're just... So you talked about the three elements being the environment, the subject, and methodology. How would you exactly apply it to this painting we have here? Um, if you take a look at this particular painting, uh, this is of Megan's Bay here in St. Thomas. And on Megan's Bay, uh, this was done yesterday. It took me about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And uh, what I wanted to do is just get a feeling, capture a feeling or a mood. Obviously when you're doing plein air painting uh, you can't spend a whole lot of time because everything changes. The sun changes, the angles change and so on, the clouds change. So I wanted to capture something here and really the idea that I wanted to capture is the softness and the subtleties of the colors. There were a lot of different colors that I have in there. I usually use a limited palette. I don't use a lot of colors and I I find that helps me, especially when I'm doing plein air painting, because you don't have a whole lot of time to mix colors. Okay. Okay. Thank you.